I mean, that was a tough, hard fought win. I mean, that's a hard playing group. I mean, that's what Frank's known for. I mean, he's got those guys playing hard. I mean, it, you know, they're five and eight, but they've had so many pauses with COVID that it's hard to gauge, you know, exactly like record and stuff. Cause you know, they went in and beat Florida at Florida after Florida got in the top 25. I, mean, I respect coach Martin, how hard he gets his guys to go. And I knew it was going to be a battle. You know, it would have been nice to open it up and, but it's, it's not bad to win a close one either. You know, I think we're three and three and, Two possession games last year we were four and eleven. We put a big point emphasis on learning how to close. I thought we did some dumb things late in the game, but we did enough to to win it. You know, and Rojas steps up, goes four for four at the line late in the game after he missed all three. You know, previous game, so I think he showed a lot of mental toughness. He played hard. I, I think he ended up winning the blue collar award. But you know, our three seniors, I can't say enough about. Those three, I thought Alex Reese played super hard. You know, we'd been starting him. I thought he maybe was a little better off the bench. Maybe little, I thought he came in as soon as Juwan got hurt and gave us everything he got the entire time. He, you know, he played over 19 minutes, and I, I can't say enough about Reese's effort. Like he, he, he wants to win. When they went small, we went with Rowe. He's the biggest cheerleader on the bench. Really, really proud of the way Alex Reese played tonight. You know, he had, I mean, you look at our offensive boards, we outscored him 19 11 on second chance points. You know, Petty had four, but Reese had three in 19 minutes. Uh, you know, he was playing hard. So, and then Herb obviously is still not back to himself, but, you know, he gives us enough that, you know, he's tough. He brings the leadership to it. So those three guys were great. Uh, you know, happy with the win. It's good to get tough road wins. Wins are hard to come by in the SEC. So, However, we got to get them. I think our guys are learning, learning how to win and doing a pretty good job with it. Thanks, Coach. As a reminder, just use the raise hand function and we'll get a question. Uh, we'll start with Michael Casagrande. <clears throat> yeah, just wonder what the latest was on uh, Dewan Gary. You know what? Is he's got a shoulder injury that's going to get reevaluated when we get back. So disappointing for him. You know, he's from Columbia. We're back in his home city. Shoot, his mom lives ten minutes from here. Parents there at the game. You know, he was primed to play big minutes and wasn't meant to be. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not out long because he was giving us really good minutes, but you know, we'll we'll see. Let's go to uh, Scott Griffin next. Hey, it's another slow start to a game. I know you're, just, you're pulling your hair out with that. It kind of happened at the first of the year. So I'm sure you're analyzing what you're wearing the pregame, what you're eating, you know, all, all kind of stuff. And you know how it is on the road. It's different from home. Guys, you know, maybe after pregame meal, go lay in bed. And it's just, it's just a hard thing to, to get started right and figure out how to start games. Yeah, I, I didn't think our – you know, in the past, I thought our effort was a problem. I didn't think our effort was terrible tonight. You know, I told our guys, like, you know, we'd gotten to the old boards. We just – I mean – Fumbling the ball around, couldn't couldn't get it together on offense. Defensively, you know, they scored off some turnovers, if I remember right. So I told our guys, let's just keep playing hard. It'll even itself out. You know, we're gonna hit shots. They're gonna, you know, eventually start missing. But yeah, I, I mean, we've got to fix that. Obviously, we. Do. I'll say this: they came out, got us down early, and our guys showed a ton of fight. I mean, you look at. You know, we tried, talked about trying to win the first four and last four that first half. We didn't win the first four, obviously. A bad start again. But the last four, I think we went on a 10-2 run over about a three-minute stretch there. You know, we were down three. Then, we, you know, we go into the half up three. So, you know, and they scored a little bit. But, you know, we took a three-point deficit and turned it into a five-point lead before I think they had scored at the end. So, I uh, don't have the answer on the starts, but I think our effort – you know, demanded a victory, and that's what that's what we're telling these guys. Like, let's make sure we are the hardest playing team that our effort demands a victory, and we, uh, you know, and then everything will kind of even itself out at that point. Next question. Let's go to Cecil Hurt next. Coach, the the twenty turnovers obviously are a little bit um, concerning, and it seemed a lot of them came off the dribble trying to get to the to the basket. Could you? sort of pinpoint what was – I mean, I'm sure South Carolina's 
strong reaching in there and trying to stop it. But exactly what was going on with that? Look, I mean, we we were trying not to drive the first side of the floor when they're all loaded up. I thought some of them came off that. You know, a couple of those late charges with Cornerly and Shaq, 100% came off those drives on the first side of the floor before the ball moved and we had got the defense to – move and adjust and loosen up a little bit. You know, we got to quit doing that. But yeah, some of them were just mishandles. I mean, like, you know, you know, with Herb, I mean, he ends up with seven assists, you know, so at least he, he was making plays, moving the ball. But, you know, for him to have four turnovers, a lot of them were just mishandles. You know, I, I, until he gets back to practicing, you know, he's going to be a little rusty, I think. Like, like, it's hard to just play two games a week and be sharp. So, you know, he keeps getting better and better. You know, we got to do more live, or not even if it's not live, more full speed stuff, even when he's not going live to get him. And then, you know, so, you know, I mean, you look at the turnovers, JP at four, he's got to do a better job of handling the ball. He just mishandled some catches. But, you know, those are our seniors. I thought those two guys played really hard. They got to take care of the ball better. Quinterly, as a point guard, can't go one assist to three turnovers. He knows it. I think he's playing better. His attitude's great. I think he's, you know, he hit some huge shots for us. Somebody goes three or five from three. We don't win the game without him doing that. So, you know, we're, we're working on it. I, I, I was trying to get these things down around 10 or 12. <laughs> they, they went up. You know, we've been averaging 15, 16, 17 over these, this five-game stretch where we haven't played great. So still wasn't one of our better games, but I think we're playing back to where we're playing as hard as we can possibly play. Steve Olden. Coach, uh, congrats on the win, and uh, certainly you mentioned the free throws being so key down the stretch, but I do wonder from an analytics standpoint, uh, South Carolina down by three with the ball. Uh, was there a conversation about fouling, or what? Do, how do you feel about that, Coach? Yeah, I mean, we had, back in the fall, we had an NBA guy that had been in the NBA forever come through and do, do a uh, spend three days with us, did a little, got a whole end-of-game package if you will, for end of game situations. Last year we were four and 11 in one or two possession games. We're three and three, which is not where we want to be. We'd like to, obviously we'd like to be six and oh in these one or two possession games, but three and three is a lot better than four and 11. But one of the things that we actually went through was, you know, when we're up three on defense underneath out, short amount of time, how do we guard it? Well, we chose to play a, five out zone on the three point line and not give up a three. I mean, we, you know, Charlie runs our defense. He's like, do you want to do it? Uh, I said, yeah. He asked me like three times. You sure? You sure? You, you want to give up a two? I mean, if you, if you give up a two and you can inbound the ball and make a free throw, like you're winning the game. So, you know, I just, we weren't going to give up a three. So we had kind of talked through that scenario and I try to trust what, you know, in the heat of the moment, you try to trust what you talked about when you've got all kinds of time to think about it back in the fall, and it, it, it came up. So I think it's good that we went through as many scenarios as we did. We didn't execute as good as we needed to offensively, some late game stuff, and we got to get better on that. But and even defensively, we gave up some buckets we shown up. But I thought in that case, you know, I know Coach Martin wasn't very happy with his kids taking the two. Uh, he knew he needed a three. So yeah, th yeah, that was the plan. I mean, that's you want to call it analytics or whatever, but we, we kind of studied that exact same scenario back in the fall. All right, we got three more questions in the queue for Coach. We'll finish with these three, starting with P, and I'm hopefully saying this right, Ike Belly. Yeah, that's good. That's uh, certainly uh, – I answered anything down here. But, um, Nate, um, how pleased were you with how the guys handled these past couple of days after the loss to Missouri in coming back and playing hard, not – you know, extending the problems for another game. Yeah, I, I was really happy with their effort. You know, I, I didn't think our effort in the uh, beginning of the Missouri game demanded a win, as evidenced by the score. But I thought for the last 20 minutes and certainly the last about 13, 14 minutes of that Missouri game, we uh, we played as hard as we could possibly play. So I, th I think we took that momentum going in from the, uh, from the Missouri game and used it for, uh, you know, Used it tonight, and I thought our effort was pretty dang good in the uh, in the Missouri game. Okay, yeah, obviously we're joined now Just by John Teddy, but uh, we'll finish with uh, Christina Chambers, then Tyler Martin for coach. Just go to Christina first. 
All right, this one's for Coach. This is kind of a random question. There was an Alabama fan that had like three or four billboards post up off University Boulevard saying that you guys need a rebound better after the, the <laughs> loss to Missouri. And um, my question to you is, obviously with all the success that you guys have had this season, do you like to see that type of passion um, from fans like that, just because there is so much surrounding your team right now. I love it. Shoot. I mean, they're obviously in the basketball. Somebody's paying to put billboards up, tell us to rebound the ball. So <laughs> they're on the same page as the coaching staff. I had no idea. I, uh, it's a good thing Aaron, our SID is on top of his stuff. Cause he showed me the, uh, he showed me a picture of the, or a tweet of the billboard or something, but shoot, I, uh, I'm not, I love the fact that the fans in Tuscaloosa are into basketball. They care enough to buy a billboard. They, JP says he didn't see it. I asked no, him. I, I, ain't seen I didn't see it either, but I'll say this. I mean, JP let us in, uh, let us in rebounds. And, uh, you know, we all rebounded South Carolina. who's one of the best rebounding teams in the country. So there you go, JP. Aaron sent it to me. You know, he, protect the paint, rebounding, Final Four, rebound. That's good. Tuscaloosa? Yeah, I guess it's on University Yeah, is that, is that right, Christina? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Great, I love it. They're, they're into, they're, 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 we got some basketball fans. We uh, we love the people being into basketball. So we we, we protected the paint. We uh, They got a few more paint scores than us, but we, we, we won the second chance points. We won the rebounding tonight, so we, we, we did a pretty good job, I thought, in there. Uh, this will be the last co question for Coach Oates, Tyler Martin. Yeah, Nate, it kind of looked like Josh Primo hit like a freshman wall for the last three games, but he came out tonight, knocked down three of his first four three-point attempts. Just kind of how, how does that build on his confidence going forward? Yeah, I mean, he – you know, he didn't get a shot at him the last game. That's not the way we want to play. The ball's got to move. We want all of our guys in there getting shot attempts. You know, if he – obviously it wasn't – one of Herb's better games, you know, Primo gets three up. I mean, you know, he goes three or four to start. That was huge, huge for us. You know, we were struggling out of the gate to get going. He hit some big threes, so he was ready to go. You know, A.J. Lawson's a Canadian kid. You know, I guess him and A.J. worked out in the summer. He, You know, he wanted that matchup. Uh, A.J. obviously got going here, but I thought Primo was really amped up to go. Hit some big shots for us, got on the glass. You know, I mean, he was crashing hard. I think his effort's been pretty good here lately, but it's good, good to see him uh, get some shots and get get the threes to start trapping again. All right, thanks, Coach. You're good. So Fine, thanks. Nice. All right, uh, question for John Petty. We'll start with Tony Sukalis. John, 20-point game for the first time in, a, in about a month. Just what, what were you feeling – and do you feel like you can kind of build off of this moving forward? Uh, I mean, I just, it's just, I just had to, I just had to do what I had to do. Um, I really wasn't feeling no type of way. Uh, and I was going to do whatever it takes for us tonight to get a win. Um, one thing we kind of went over as a team, uh, as leaders, is our record in February has always been pretty bad. So as a leadership on this team, as a senior on this team, I'm not letting it go down that road this year. So whatever it takes to win, I've got to do it. Steve Bowen, you're next. JP, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, what Was the game as physical as it, it looked on television? Oh, yeah, most definitely. It, it was real physical, but that's that's what we like. Uh, people might think, you know, our team isn't physical, our team isn't hard-nosed, but that's what we build on, that's what we harp on, and that's what we're going to continue to get better at every game. And, and if every game is like that, then uh, we love it. We love physical. Pete, you're up next. Hey, uh, John, how did you guys handle things since Missouri? It looked like you guys were really determined to kind of not that let that uh, losing streak build. Uh, we were real determined. Um, kind of like I said, you know, our February record, you know, every year always be pretty bad. And, you know, we got a good thing, a special thing going this year. And our seniors and our leadership, like I said, we we just want to make sure that we go out with a, with a great, great senior year. So, you know, we're going to push the guys. We're going to continue to do whatever it takes to do to win. So that's – we're real motivated to keep this streak going. Okay, we got time for a couple more questions. Let's start with Scott Griffin. JP, I don't consider you a quiet guy. I don't consider you just gregarious and crazy with your personality. So has it been difficult for you to 
demand the ball to get shots because sometimes you get good shot attempts like you did tonight and you're, you're hitting your stride and then there's others where you you're kind of quiet I know you don't really worry about that but just and I know Nate's talked to you about that um yeah I really you know I really don't really focus on really getting shots up I just let the game come to me I feel like that's that's how I just would build up on from my high school my high school coach always taught me like he never like in high school, I never ran up on the ball. I was like, give me the ball, give me the ball. I never was doing that. Um, I just like to play the game the right way. You know, coach always tell me, if you play hard and do your hardest on the court, the ball will find you instead of you trying to go find the ball. So, you know, I just try to do that, do my best, uh, go out there and play as hard as I can. And today it paid off. You know, shots came to me. You know, I took some bad ones, but I guess that's how it is when you're feeling it. <laughs> all right, thank you, everybody. That's all we got time for. Appreciate it. Thank you.